Hello, I'm Dararith, a customer success engineer at Zage. Today I would like to demonstrate multi-factor authentication and credential management for devices. Zage provide users single sign-on via a web portal to any device that they are authorized to access, controlling access according to per device and per user policy. Beyond single sign-on, Zage can provide an additional security challenge for each individual device managing and rotating each individual device password while maintaining ease of access for the user and enabling Zage to satisfy the TSA pipeline security directive set in 2021 to protect against cyber intrusions. Here's how it works. A technician is trying to access a skated pack controller. Their control is blocked as indicated by the lock status. To enable access, the user pulls up a web browser and signs into the Zage fabric with their SSO credentials enter two-step verification code to authenticate, and once they are in the system, the user has access to all devices allowed by policy, in this case, the skated pack controller. The technician clicks Info to unveil the password, enters the password provided by Zage to the skated pack controller, and now we can see the controller is unlocked. Access is granted. The technician proceeds with doing their job, and when they are done, they can log off and we can see that the controller is locked after the session ends. When the technician decides to unlock the controller again by signing back into the Zage fabric, enter two-step verification code, and click on the device info, we can see that there is a different password required to authenticate. Entering this new password grants access to the device. This Zage policy can be set for any user that access specific devices. Thank you for watching.